All right, so we're doing page 599 and 600 for math homework. So they are talking the average length of a honeybee, right? They took a little bee and measured him with a ruler to see how long he was. He is four-fifths of an inch. He's almost one whole inch. But now I have to write four-fifths as a decimal. So I, I'm going to change my fifths into tenths. So to change my fifths into tenths, I multiply times two. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Five times two is ten. Four times two is eight. So then I just write my fraction with the denominator of ten. is easy, right? I do point eight. <clears throat> and I would read this and I would say eight tenths. All right, so now we're going to write each fraction as a decimal. So we're going to change them into tenths, hundredths, thousandths, whatever we need to do. So to turn a 2 into a 10, I multiply it times 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 5 is 5. And turning this into a decimal place, right, it's 5 tenths. So I put a 5 in my tenths place. My next one, 11 over 20. So to turn 20, I'm going to turn 20 into 100. I could turn it into a 10 by dividing by 10 by 2, but 11 divided by 2 doesn't work, so I can't do that. So I'll turn it into 100 instead. I'll multiply it times 5. 20 times 5 is 100. Oh, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 11 times 5 is 55. Also, fire right to you, that in the chat. So my answer is 0.55. So I'm going to take 13 over 20. I'm going to change my, change my 20 into 100. So I'm going to take times 5. If I multiply the bottom times 5, I have to multiply the top times 5. So 20 times 5 is 100. 13 times 5 might be a little harder, but you can just break it down. When I write it like this, it helps me. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry my 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So now I have 65 over 100. which is going to be 0.65. This one already has the 10 on it. So all I have to do, because it already has the 10, I'm going to put, it's in the tenths place, I'm going to put my decimal place, and a 6. Done. All right, my next one, I have to turn, I have to change it. Right, it's 13 over 25. I want to turn this into 100, so I take four of them, right? Four quarters would be 100 cents, so I take times four, and I have to take the top times four also. So 13 times four. And what? Is it 32? Yes, nice job. Right, I'm going to take 13 times four. He's right, it's 52. So I'm going to say 3 times 4 is 12, carry my 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so 52. Nice. So now I have to put my decimal place, two zeros. So I'm going to put two digits behind the decimal place. So I'm going to go 1, 2. Right, I have two zeros, so I have two numbers behind my decimal place. Fourteen over twenty. So fourteen over twenty. I'm gonna change my twenty into one hundred. So I'm gonna multiply it times five. Twenty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. And so I multiply times five. I have to multiply the top times five. Do you know it? 14 times 5, 
Right, I do 4 times 5 is 20. I carry my 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So I have 70 over 100. So to write it as a decimal, I put 0 0.70. Forgot to record that part. We're going on to the back. So here is Courtney. Hit the bullseye three out of five of the time when playing darts. Write three fifths as a decimal. Right? This is darts. Right? The bullseye is when you hit it right in the middle in the red. So they, I I would say Courtney's probably a girl. So when she threw it, she she threw it five times, but. Three of the times she hit the bullseye. That's really good. So I, I have to write three-fifths as a decimal place. So I'm going to take three-fifths. I'm going to turn five into ten. And I'm going to turn my three into six. I multiply the bottom times two, so the top is times two. So I'm going to say this equals point six. Um, she hit it 0.6 of the time, 6 tenths of the time, right? If she would have thrown 10 times, she would have hit it 6 times. All right, my next one. Yesterday, it rained 9 twentieths of an inch, right? 9 twentieths as a decimal. So I'm going to take 9 over 20, and I'm going to say 20 times 5 is 100, and 9 times 5 is 45. Oh my god, I break up the contest and my nose in my hand, and I was going to say 45, and then we'll meet the first. And you, nice, you got the right answer. Awesome. So my answer is 0.45 inch, right? It rained less than an inch. It rained 0.4 fifths of an inch, 45 hundredths of an inch. So Camille shaded 12 25ths of a model. Write the decimal that represents the shaded portion of the model. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing again. Take my 12 25ths. She colored 12 out of 25 squares. So I'm going to say, what if she had 100 squares? How many would Is she have? 48? Nice job. I'm multiplying the bottom times five, 4, so I multiply the top times 4. 25 times 4 is 100, and 12 times 4 is 48. Nice job. Right? I could double check it if I needed to. I could say, hi, Anneli. I could say 12 times 4 and do it over here. 2 times 4 is 8. And 4 times 1 is 4. So right, he is right, 48. So to write this as my decimal place, I'm going to say 0.48, 48 hundredths, I'm going to say was shaded. She colored in 48 out of 100 of her squares. All right, so my next one, Paolo built a model car that is 7 25ths the size of his dad's car, right? It's a small little model, smaller than his dad's car. So write 7 25ths as a decimal. So I'm just going to do the same thing, 7 25ths. So multiply times 4, times 4. 25 times 4 is 100, and 7 times 4 is 28. So my answer is 0 0.28. It doesn't tell me inches, 28, I'll just say 28 hundredths of the size of his dad's car. I won't write all that. I'll just say of the size. So the bottom one, the bottom, the test practice one is trickier. And they didn't do it where I can turn this nice and even into a 10, 100, 1,000, right? They, they didn't do that for me here. 
Mm, but I do see what they did here for me, that I could do it the other way. All right, we'll do, we'll do it two ways. So 3 over 20, we'll do this one. Bichon sold 3 20ths of his collection of sports cards. Right tweet, 3 20ths as a fraction. So I'll write 3 over 20. I need to change my 20 into 100. I'll do times 5. So whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top times 5. So I'll have 15 over 100, which is going to be 0.15. And I'll just say of his collection. He sold that much. 15 hundredths of his collection. our very last problem. All right, so Amelia bought 9 twelfth pound of sliced salami at the deli counter. Which of the following decimals did the scale show? So this is a little tricky, right? I can't just turn this into a decimal like I did before. But what I can do, what I was looking, right, there's two different ways I could do it. I could take 9 and divide it by 12. Because we learned that before, right? I could turn 9 and divide it by 12. I'll do that just so you can see, right? 12 goes into 90. Let's see. 7 times, I believe. So I'm going to say 7 times 2 is 14. Carry my 1. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. I would subtract... I will get 6. I need to bring down a 0. 12 goes into 65 times. And I bring up my decimal place. Right? I can always do them this way. It's a, just a division problem written as a fraction. And then I have to remember to add my decimal places and carry them around. But the other way I could do this is take my 9 and my 12. First I'm going to make it smaller. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. I can divide 12 by 3, and I can divide 9 by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now I can turn this into a fraction just a little bit easier. So now I'm going to have 4. I'm going to multiply 4 to get... 100, right? I need to take my 4 times, sorry, why am I doing times 50? Times 25, right? 4 times 25 is 100. And I'm going to take my 3. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And 3 times 25 is 75, right? So this is going to be equal to 0 0.75, right? I got the same answer. That's why math, I can triple, quadruple check it to make sure I got the right answer. And my correct answer is D. And we're done. Woohoo! Nice job. I saw you, Giovanni. You got it. 0.75. You were close with the 0.7, right? You are very close.